Two tips to become a successful coach. Hey, this is Mark Nelson. I am a former public school teacher, math teacher, turned lifestyle entrepreneur, and now I'm a business coach, a strategy coach. Very excited where I'm at, and I'm very excited to help you in your journey. But if you're thinking of becoming a coach, I wanna give you two tips. Two things that you need to do, seriously. And I'll probably give you more of it. The first one is when you're a coach, you need to be a great listener. Very serious. I mean, there, there's people, when I started my journey, I've had three or four coaches, um, and they're all good listeners. What they do is they ask questions, and I have a sheet of, of questions that you can ask people if you want that. I can certainly give that to you. They ask questions, and they start getting you to talk about your journey. See, what it is, it's all about your customer's journey. That's all it is. You have to have empathy, and you have to listen to people. My first coach, I was in a mastermind by Mark Harbour, and he talked about making video. And he's the first one who got me doing videos. I, I laughed at him, and I, it was like, I was nervous too, so what he told us to do was make a video, 30 second video on our phone, just upload it to Facebook. And he challenged us to do it for 30 days. That's what I did. And then I wanted something different. So I started working with another coach, Ryan Cody McMorris, an outstanding coach. The thing was, I wasn't ready. I really wasn't ready. And I really wanted him to wave a magic wand and, and make it happen for me. And I felt for him because I just wasn't ready for coaching. And then I found a guy by the name of Steve Cribda. And this is where everything turned around. Very serious. Steve and I started talking, you know, about things going on. We were, we were in the same affiliate program at that time. And all of a sudden he started asking me questions and see, I was, I was blocked. It's like, I just couldn't grow a business. I couldn't make money online. I, it didn't make sense because I knew I could make money online. I knew I was good at this. I just couldn't get past it. And we worked on some mental things. Now, I know people say, well, I don't want to do mindset, mindset. But, you know, in every coaching program, if they aren't working with you on things that are hanging you up, then they aren't good coaches. Seriously. I, I'm really serious about that. They, they need to be working with you on things that are holding you back. And they do that by asking questions. Right? By asking your goals. Where do you aspire to be? What do you want to do in a year? If you could have your dream life, what would that dream life be? And you know, you start bringing things out that people really want so you can help them in their transformation. So the first tip is you have to be a very good listener. You have to be good at asking questions. You have to be good at listening. Now, in the world of coaches, there is a sea of coaches out there. And you have to have integrity. And what I mean by that are there are coaches out there, you hear they're taking this client to this, this client to that, this client to that, and you just know it's a bunch of BS. You just know it. So you have to have a bunch of integrity. Now, do you have to be successful? You know what I was? I was a math teacher when I started my coaching journey. But what I did is I've worked with kids and their families for 30 years. I've coached kids. I have a student right now that has an online business and he's just kicking butt. Well, not right now because I'm not teaching anymore. <laughs> so if you want to be a coach, you certainly can. Now I do have a coaching program and inside my program, what I have is I have a a mastermind coaching program, a training program where you can go in and kind of work at your own space. We can set up calls for me. I have a private Facebook group, but we can do one-on-one -on -one calls and get you going on your thing. But if a lot of people like me, I just like to kind of, I like to watch videos and kind of do my own thing and then make sure as I put things in action, I can reach out and say, okay, this is what I'm doing. How am I doing with it? I have that all set up for you. If you would like, to hear more about it, 
let's just get together and chat a little bit. And what you do is go to marknelsononline.com forward slash call, marknelsononline.com forward slash call, and I can give you all the tools you need to set up your coaching business. Y'all take care. We will talk again soon. Bye.